Hello, I'm Nadia Bilchik, and welcome to Career Cafe. This is the podcast that gives you advice and guidance on how to manage your career, both in terms of interpersonally as well as professionally. This is the podcast that's going to give you tips, tools, and techniques to take your career to the next level. Hello, I'm Nadia Bilchik, and a very warm welcome to this episode of Career Cafe. And today, we're going to take a slightly different direction and we're going to talk about wellness in the workplace, in your personal and professional life. How are you feeling? Do you have energy? Do you feel good about yourself? And is there something you could be doing about it? Well, here to give us her insight is Leslie Clayton. Now, Leslie is the founder of Body Awareness, which is a Pilates studio in Sandy Springs in Atlanta, Georgia. So for those of you who are listening in other cities or other countries, it is a pleasure to welcome Leslie Clayton. Thank you, Nadia. It's so good to be here. I'm so excited to talk about this subject. Now, I've had the pleasure of working with you, and you are so really remarkable as a trainer in the area of Pilates and the kind of awareness that you bring to the people you work with. And I have been so inspired and motivated by you, and I wanted to share it with my community. Mm, so let's start off with what are you seeing in terms of your clients that maybe you haven't seen before in this overconnected age? Overconnected, you mean like this the fast paced internet, like the web, the, just the digital age, digital age. the age where we used mm -hmm. to do privately, mm -hmm. computers were in our offices or in our homes, and you're now taking them with you wherever you go. Yeah, so in this connected age, people are becoming more disconnected. <laughs> They're disconnecting from their body because their minds are so busy trying to keep up with what's happening in their current um, daily life, whether it's family and juggling family and business, and then also having to be conscious about what's coming around the bend. What do they have to be aware of for tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year even? as people are um, having to stay ahead of the game. So I find that people are coming in, uh, the stress level is much higher. The stress climate is huge. When we are stressed, it, we, some, we disconnect somehow from our body. We don't, feel the, we don't want to feel the pain. So we're in our head a lot or we medicate and the body is getting neglected. So if you're listening to this podcast today with Nadia Bilchik and Leslie Clayton, who is a Pilates trainer, teacher, teacher of teachers extraordinaire, what if you're listening to this today going, I'm not feeling good about myself. I have low energy. I look at my body and I keep thinking there's something I should do about it, but I don't know where to begin. What do you say to those people and why is Pilates a good solution? Thank you. Yeah, I think that um, for, for people who have gotten out of touch, they've kind of lost their rhythm, they've lost their um, the connection with, with the, the right foods to eat, the right um, habit patterns during the day, and the right exercise, um, the first thing to do is to slow down and um, start to breathe into, breathe into the belly and get connected to the spine by just sitting up a little bit straighter. Things like that, just bringing your mind into the presence of the breath and into the alignment of your spine can start to shift your energy right away and it can actually help your brain work more efficiently. So right now, if you're listening to this, simply take a breath in, take us through that exercise, even if we're listening in the car, at home or at work. Okay, so no matter where you are, sitting, standing, lying down, doesn't matter, just start to bring your mind into the rhythm of your own breathing. And is it a shallow breath? Is it a slow, big breath? It's all good, but just bringing your attention to the way your body is naturally breathing right now is the first step. And what does deep breathing do on a physiological level? When you start to take deeper breaths into the belly and then start to let it slow down, it actually can calm your nervous system, bring you into a more balanced state. Your food can digest better. Your mind can start to um, Tra you can start to track better what's really going on under the surface of perhaps the chaos or the disconnect. You start getting in tune with yourself again. Now, sometimes people think going to Pilates is a very expensive form of exercise. So you have some people who come to you for private sessions or group sessions, but you're offering a solution coming up 
and you're going to be offering that from time to time. Tell us about a solution, a Pilates solution that maybe isn't as expensive as people think it might be. Thank you. Yeah, Pilates can be. So it's maybe one of the most expensive exercise forms out there right now. So what we've come up with is a plan to help any level of student, any level, basic to intermediate to advanced level of Pilates students, start to develop a personal practice. And that personal practice means that uh, we're going to do an intensive. We're going to, in September, just a few months away, we're creating a power hour program that's an intensive that gives people an opportunity to come in and learn how to use the spring tension in the apparatus, the Pilates apparatus uses springs, how to set the machines up, how to do it correctly, how to perform it with the most um, conscious awareness. So you're getting the most out of your Pilates exercises and then you'll be able to come in and use the equipment independently and not rely on a teacher 100% of the time. So we're creating group apparatus session classes designed to help you own it for yourself, become more independent. So if you're in the Atlanta area, mm -hmm. where would you find that information? Right now, you will come to an orientation class and experience it. We actually don't have anything out there right now. It's mostly invitation only. and. Um, through conversations on the phone and making sure this is the right program for you. But bodyawareness. Bodyawarenessstudio.com and 404-252-7550 is our phone number. And when you call us, we're going to tell you when the next free orientation class is, if you're in our area. We're going to be soon putting some things on our website and perhaps on Facebook. And that's Body Awareness Studio on Facebook. So bodyawarenessstudio.com. Yes. Now for those people who aren't living in the Atlanta area and don't have the privilege of knowing you or coming to your studio, what are the benefits of Pilates? First of all, let's take us to 101. What is Pilates and why is it different to yoga or to CrossFit or to the myriad of other options one has? Mm. Pilates starts you wherever you are. So whether you're coming from um, injury prevention or, or recovering from an injury or just starting an exercise program from scratch, it really is going to start from the basics, meaning your, your first experience with Pilates is actually slowing down and becoming aware of your, the posture, the bony alignment, where your feet are, where your spine is. And the most important thing really is how your pelvis is placed, whether you're sitting, standing, lying down, because from that place you activate the deepest part of your core, and that deep part of your core is related to your breathing. So we're looking at posture and breathing. Those are skills that you can take with you anywhere. Those are the first things you learn to do. And again, going back to why is it different to yoga? Oh, thanks. In, in Pilates, we're providing you with supported uh, spring tension that offers support and resistance so that it creates a decompression for your spine while you're breathing and moving. And we're in yoga, you're also working on decompressing, you're working on stretching, you're working on um, postures that help to open your body. In Pilates, there's typically um, movement through those postures, where in, in yoga, a lot of times you're holding the postures and going into deep stillness. In Pilates, it's pretty um, consistent breath and movement. Once you get started, the spring tension creates an environment where you're suspended inside yourself and spent, suspended inside your spine and your joints. And it's um, an incredible amount of support with that resistance. Often when one thinks of Pilates, the vision is that of that reformer. So for people who are listening who have no idea what I'm talking about, it's a machine that does what? Great. Well, the, well it's, it's an apparatus that you, we use to, to decompress the body and to train the body. You're, you have exercises that are footwork exercises, training how the feet relate to the legs, the hips, and the spine so that you can correct your foot alignment, your leg alignment, and your pelvis and your spine alignment while you're strengthening and toning your body. You're also working on flexibility. It also, the reformer also is unique because there's arms, hand straps. And when you're working your arms with that resistance, you're also working how your hands are related to your spine. 
the movement sequences are training you for your everyday life on how to move and breathe and use your arms, whether you're at the computer or you're having to lift something heavy or play with your grandchildren. So you're, you're using your body very efficiently. So the reformer itself has ways to work your arms, your legs, your core, all of those things work your abs. Every single exercise is an awareness with your abdominals as well as your spine. So it's, yeah, does that answer? Yes, you? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, is sitting the new smoking? <laughs> oh, and what can we do if we are sitting to make sure we do aerate our spines and lift ourselves and get more oxygen into our bodies? Oh, wow, that's a great question. First is the consciousness. If you are someone who has to sit for long periods of time because of your job or just because of um, maybe you have some reasons that you can't get up and walk around and maybe some limitations in your legs or feet or hips. Just bring your attention to the distance from the base of your spine at your tailbone to the top of your head and you can consciously start to elongate your spine and breathe. There's also ways you can move your pelvis from slightly behind the sit bones to right up on top of your sit bones and doing little movements like that while you're at your desk so that you are not just in one stuck, stagnant position that's going to create a lot of compression. So whether your you're back. driving watching this right mm -hmm. now or sitting at your desk, mm -hmm. just do that. Tuck in the pelvis and out and deep breathe. Now, Leslie, I have to tell you, Keith, who is recording this, and I are both sitting up much straighter <laughs> as we're listening to you, and we're both breathing and tucking in our pelvis. So there's another aspect to all of this, which is people are listening to this going, oh, Leslie Clayton, you are an expert. This is your area. You have people coming to you who maybe are people of leisure, who have the time. How do I begin? And what stops, in your mind, what stops people going, I want to have that body. I want to have that awareness. I want to feel better. And it's so interesting because I speak a lot about this. What stops people taking action on things that are frustrating, upsetting them. What is it? So taking what's our advice? To take their body back, what, you mean? Exactly, and what's our first them? step? Mm. What's our first step? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about this, and there are people who are going, yes, I wish I could do that. Mm -hmm. But what stops us, do you think? I think the first thing that stops people from taking on a program like Pilates is um, fear fear that they can't physically do it because it, some of the beautiful exercises we see people doing online look really hard and some of them are really hard. And I've gone to networking meetings where I found that people said, the first thing they said to me is, oh, Pilates, that's too hard for me. Or I've had other people say things like it's not hard enough because maybe they had their first experience with something that was too um, passive and there because the stillness that we try to um, help people when they're getting started. So it's like can come from other directions, like too hard or it's too easy. I want something more like a CrossFit training. So, so the other thing is affordability and time affordability, not just money, but also can they afford the time to, that it takes to pause. And, and of course, as we said earlier, you're doing this program in September, mm -hmm. which is allowing people to come in and learn it for themselves so they can access it at a much more affordable rate. And again, you can find it on bodyawarenessstudio.com and all the information around that. Mm -hmm. So Leslie, we're nearing the end of our time together. What is your advice and guidance in terms of living a day, what is a couple of things, and you have mentioned them, the breathing, is there anything else that starting right now you could do that will not take you too long every single day to improve the quality of your life and work and energy level? First thing um, is, again, posture breathing, but give yourself a minimum of 12 minutes a day to put the timer on. Be willing to sit in your stillness, sit with your body and the breath. And even in that time, if you don't have an exercise program, if you um, do 10 full breaths in and out with your eyes closed, and then 10 full breaths in and out with your eyes open, looking at one spot and seeing that spot without changing your eye focus for 10 breaths, and then maybe just doing standing up and sitting down 10 times. To stand up and sit down 10 times. That's so easy, right? And you do it with presence, consciousness, feeling your feet on the floor, feeling your spine. It's so simple. So that was 30 breaths 
maybe. And if you've got children running around or if you've got a lot of distraction, mm -hmm. you're saying it's so short that even with all of that, or ask it's your children to, to do it with you. To participate with you. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you do have videos online that people can watch and they can go into bodyawareness.com. Yeah. They can sign up for your newsletter. Yes. I personally, you asked me earlier, how have I benefited? Mm -hmm. So I'm somebody who is not an exercise lover and somebody who was not very sporty at school and I don't consider myself an athlete and I'm the reluctant exerciser. But I will say that coming to you after a session, I first of all, my posture has improved incrementally. Mm -hmm. So one thing my husband notices, he always will go, I can see your posture's improved. So just from a physical level, there's that. What you've also helped me with is just that awareness of core because when things are standing up straight, just pushing your shoulders back, and a very harsh, almost aggressive gesture, but I've learned to take it from within. And it's taken me a long time to accept the breathing and the connection to core, because when you first spoke about that, it seemed like something I would never get. So what I'm saying to anyone who's listening today, if I can do this, somebody who is not athletic, not sporty, but who has acquired the skill and continues to, I think anybody would be able to. And I look forward to continuing this journey with you because like me, there's so many people who don't know where to begin or who have, as you say, the fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. But whatever city you're living in, whatever country you're living in, there probably is a Pilates studio mm -hmm. nearby. Absolutely. And if you do nothing else, it's the 10 breaths in mm -hmm. with your eyes closed mm -hmm. and it's the 10 breaths in with your eyes open and then the... Then the second thing I added was, or the third thing I added was just to practice moving from a sitting position to a standing position um, just by tipping the spine forward, inhale to lean out, exhale to stand up, inhale to start sitting down, exhale to sit, inhale to lean your spine forward and stand. I didn't say that earlier, but just coming into standing and sitting 10 times with consciousness can actually um, just to boost your energy and build strength. Yeah. So, so I do a three part wrap up and please answer these questions. What we've looked at today is what, Leslie? We've looked at how you can quickly change your, um, change your mood and your energy level with breath and awareness in your spine. So what are we asking <laughs> listeners to do? <laughs> to take responsibility for their health and for their body. And if they do this, what's the benefit? They have more joy. More, more joy. Health, more life, more life force. More, more energy. Joy. And let's face it, let's not overlook the fact that you will have a much nicer body. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us here on Career Cafe. And we look forward to bringing you many interesting topics. But I hope you're doing your breathing as we speak and that you're feeling a lot more energized and connect connected. So it's Leslie Clayton, and that is bodyawarenessstudio.com. I'm Nadia Bilchik, nadiaspeaks.com, and look forward to staying in conversation and keeping energized with our Career Cafe. You are welcome to join us here at Career Cafe. I'm Nadia Bilchik, nadiaspeaks.com. And please listen, stay tuned and be part of our community.